Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another transformation pack for Windows XP by the people over at crystalxp.net. Now in a video that I did earlier this week, we took a look at the Crystal XP transformation pack, which uh, pretty much made Windows XP look a little bit more uh, like Linux. It actually added a whole new icon pack, kind of changed the interface around a little bit. Uh, and I mentioned in that video that uh, I would possibly be doing future videos on the other three uh, Brico packs that uh, crystalxp.net offered. Uh, and a lot of you guys said that you would like to see a video on all of these other packs. And today we're going to be starting with the Longhorn Inspirit theme. Now, this is a theme, as you can tell by the name, it has a goal of making Windows XP look more like uh, earlier builds of Windows Longhorn. So uh, without any further ado, we're just going to jump into it and we're going to get started with taking a look at this transformation pack. So I've got a fresh install of Windows XP right here. We're going to run the executable file. I will have a download link to this down below. We get this uh, little splash screen here before it starts the, the installer which is uh, something that the previous pack that we, that we took a look at did not do and we're just going to choose our language which is English in this case and click on OK and since this pack is made by the same group of people uh, over at crystalxp.net you're going to see their branding kind of up here at the very top left we're just going to click on next to go through this we're going to accept the terms of the license agreement and just like in the last video we're going to have everything selected uh, so that we can kind of get the full experience out of this transformation pack. So it's going to modify the login screen. It's going to make modifications to Internet Explorer, Outlook Express, Media Player. And if we expand the uh, extras category here, you'll see it's going to uh, install some additional files. It's going to apply a wallpaper, a visual style. Uh, it's going to install Object Doc as well, which the previous theme did not do. Uh, but yes, this does install Stardox, Object Doc, and also Wise Toolbar. So we're going to have all this selected, click on Next, and we're going to install it to its default directory. All right, so the installer has finished up, and you can see that it's actually done one of its modifications without even having to restart the system. And that is a very simple one. It's uh, changed the wallpaper here. You can see in the background, we now have a new wallpaper applied. So we're just going to restart the system now. All right, so we've restarted here, and you can see that just like in the Crystal X, P transformation pack, the Longhorn Inspirit Brico pack also changes the login screen. And uh, this one actually looks like the actual layout of it uh, does look very, very similar to the regular XP layout. It does change the like turn off computer icon down here. Um, but the actual, just the way that it's designed, it's basically applied a new color scheme to it. And it has updated the logo over here on the left side. We're going to go ahead and log into our account so that I can actually show you all of the other modifications that this pack makes. Right off the bat, you can see that one of the major modifications that the pack makes to the system is with the newly added dock that is here at the top of the screen. Now this program, as I mentioned before, is called Object Dock. And I actually personally used a program called Rocket Dock back when I had a Windows XP computer that is very similar in a lot of ways to Object Dock here. Object Dock is a Stardock product. Uh, I've covered a couple of Stardock programs on this channel before. And um, I, I personally like their software. I've used a, a lot of their software before and uh, it's you know worked pretty well for me. Um, but basically what this program does, and you know there were multiple dock programs like this, but all of them basically had a goal of bringing a dock-like interface over to Windows and kind of making it look and work a little bit more like Mac OS X in the respect of actually having a, a dock installed. Um, so you know you could move this down to the bottom of the screen if you wanted to. What I used to do and what a lot of people did is they would install Rocket Dock or Object Dock and have it at the bottom of the screen and move the Windows taskbar to the top of the screen to give it a little bit more of a Mac OS like feel. So you could definitely do that. But you can see that they've got a couple of uh, programs in here. And interestingly enough, you can actually see that all of these labels here are in French. So the dock is actually uh, using the French language as opposed to the English language. But we can obviously change that, you know, if we wanted to. But the program itself is pretty self-explanatory. You can have things on the dock, you can launch things. So for example, here's Media Player. Uh, I can remove things from the dock just like I do in Mac OS X just by dragging it off. And I can also add things to the dock as well uh, just by dragging uh, shortcuts into the dock. So so uh, that's how it works. Um, it's again pretty self-explanatory, but it is pretty cool. It's a pretty nice addition to the system. 
Uh, so we've got Windows Explorer opened up here, and you can see that Windows Explorer basically gets an entire redesign. The sidebar, for one, has been completely moved. It's usually here on the left side, but it's actually been kind of slimmed down and moved to the top, uh, right underneath the address bar. So you see that this is where we get options like empty the recycle bin or restore items. Um, but we can see this if we go into my computer here, which you know we can do from the dock. Uh, so here's my computer, and you can see it's got the exact same thing going on. We've got a new um, bar right here, which basically you know acts as the sidebar, it's just not on the side anymore. And we also have a new icon pack. So you see we've got uh, a ton of new icons. We can go into into the C drive. Now these are not like pulled from Longhorn. I mean, like this was not the hard drive icon in Longhorn. Um, but this folder icon does look very similar to the folder icon that's used in Windows Vista. Um, but you can see that they kind of uh, slim down a lot of things, kind of simplify certain things. For example, the these files are hidden folder now just kind of has text on it as opposed to that blue background with like the Windows logo in the corner. Um, or as we saw in the previous uh, Brico pack that we took a look at where it actually had the uh, little Tux mascot down in the bottom um, right corner. So that's been completely removed and just is a very simple, you know, screen here. We can just click on show contents and you can see more of the uh, icon changes. You can see uh, just like in the last pack, the Explorer icon changes. This actually looks to be the uh, My Computer icon from Windows Vista or the Computer icon since it wasn't called My Computer anymore. Things like RegEdit do retain the old icon, but you can also see we've got a new scroll bar design. The window controls up here have been modified. Um, also with the start menu, one of the bigger changes is, is uh, with the start menu we can open that up and you can see that just like in the previous pack that we took a look at the start menu actually gets slimmed down and the second column uh, loses all of its labels and it now just displays the icons now one thing that you were able to do in the crystal xp pack that you cannot do in this pack is there is no way for you to change anything about the start menu the layout of the start menu there are a couple of different variants of this skin, which we'll get into later, but you cannot uh, revert the start menu back to having uh, labels in the second column by choosing a different skin like you could in the uh, previous Crystal XP Brico Pack video. One thing I do want to show you guys before we get to that is in the control panel. The control panel gets a, a redesign as well and what's actually kind of cool is the sidebar which is again now the top bar actually gets animations and these animations are not present in uh, like a regular explorer window you know like if you're browsing you know certain files on your system i can go through certain folders and you can see that the options up here will change depending on what folder that i'm in but it's just a static change as opposed to the control panel if i switch to classic view you'll see that it actually does this kind of nice fly-in animation, does the same thing if I switch to category view, or if I press F5 to refresh the window, it does the exact same thing. Now, as for the category view, and well, for the entire control panel, you can see that uh, there are new icons all across the board. All of these different categories um, do have new icons. If I go into performance and maintenance here, for example, you can see that we get new arrow icons here. Uh, the background, like that blue background has been dropped. It's just a white background now. Um, there are some icons, like if I go to the classic view, there are going to be some icons that do not get changed. For example, taskbar and start menu, speech, uh, automatic updates, and uh, Windows Firewall do not get new icons, but most of them do. We can open up the system uh, properties menu here and you can see that we get a new icon over here. Uh, it does not change anything about the like system identifying information, still gonna say XP Service Pack 2. That can also be seen in Winver. Uh, we do get a new banner up here. Uh, Longhorn Inspirit, but it still obviously is going to identify itself as Windows, you know, version 5.1 Service Pack 3, which is to be expected. You know, it's not going to change the version string. Now, like I was saying before, if we right click on the desktop and go into properties, and if we go over here to appearance, the other Crystal XP Brico pack had the ability to change the color scheme here. Now, you can do this in the Longhorn Inspirit theme here. There are three different options. Now, the default one is three, but what these color schemes do is they change the colors, obviously, of the taskbar, the start menu, which now notice how this is a black background here in the first column, uh, that will get changed along with the window controls. So let's go to number one here. You can see that in the preview box, the uh, window controls do get a new design. We'll hit on apply to have that take effect. And so you can see we now get that new uh, design here for the window controls, but also in the start menu here, you can see that uh, that black background is now more of a grayish color. Uh, but notice that, you know, the icons over here do not get 
any labels. And that is, like I said before, you can change between these color schemes, but they don't change anything about the layout of the start menu, only the colors of it. Um, so those are your three different color schemes that you can choose from to kind of customize the Longhorn and Spirit theme a little bit more to your liking. Now, there are a couple of other applications that the Longhorn and Spirit Brico Pack actually modified. And you guys probably remember that at the beginning of this video when we were going through the installer, um, it actually said it was going to make modifications to Internet Explorer, Outlook Express, and Windows Media Player. So we're going to start with Internet Explorer here. And basically what these modifications are is just a uh, visual reskin of these programs. And that's kind of to be expected. So there's not any like new functionality or anything like that. But with Internet Explorer here, you see that we've got it open. And there are new buttons up here, new uh, icons for all of these buttons. And uh, yeah, that's just basically what it does. It, it also obviously keeps that consistent theme uh, kind of like with the regular Windows Explorer here, just the way that the menu bar and the address bar are designed, uh, it does keep that same design over here on Internet Explorer. Um, some of these icons don't get changed, like for Windows Messenger, for example, this one retains the standard icon, but every other button up here, uh, from what I can tell, gets a new icon, and this just kind of goes with the theme a little bit better. So, But obviously, this is the same version of IE that comes with Windows XP. This is version 6.0, um, but yeah, it just basically gives it a visual reskin. Now, Outlook Express is basically the exact same story with Outlook Express. We can go ahead and open it up here. And uh, you'll see that from like a split second there, we got that little splash screen. The splash screen is actually modified, and I had to actually record a video clip of it and go frame by frame in uh, my video editor to actually get an image of it. So this is what the splash screen looks like right here, and it definitely looks like this could have come straight from Windows Longhorn, and it might actually have... Uh, since the copyright date down here is 2004, 1995 to 2004. Um, so this literally could have just been pulled from an earlier Longhorn build. Uh, but this background here definitely looks like uh, something that was seen in some of the earlier Longhorn builds, the uh, pre-reset builds, obviously. But it's just a very good recreation if it is a uh, you know custom recreation and not just something pulled from Longhorn. Either way, it definitely fits very well with this theme. Now, Outlook Express, for the most part, looks to retain um, a lot of the original icons uh, that have been modified. You can see that's definitely the case with the sidebar here. Now, Windows Media Player, on the other hand, I wasn't actually able to um, really see any changes. I mean, you can see that it's literally the exact same program. I thought that this might have been an updated version of Media Player, but this is Media Player 10, and this was around when this pack was made. So it says it made modifications to Media Player. These buttons appear on the menu bar here could have been modified. So there you have it, guys. That is a brief demonstration of the Longhorn Inspirit theme. Uh, from the folks over at crystalxp.net, which unfortunately does not exist anymore, but I will leave a download link to this uh, specific Brico pack if you guys want to try it out. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more like it, definitely be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times per week on this channel. And if you guys want to see videos on the other two Brico packs that this website had to offer, um, be sure to let me know if I can find working download links. I will definitely do videos on those. Or if you guys have any other video suggestions or just comments for me, be sure to leave those down below as I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say and as always I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video